A killer is on the run after an early morning shooting at a gas station. It happened just before 2 a.m. at the Marathon gas station in Hadley Park. Investigators say a 35 year old man was at a pump near his black Dodge Challenger when he was shot. He was rushed to the hospital but did not survive. The shooter was in a gray Lincoln. If you have any information, call police. Happening today, the case against a man accused in last week's deadly shooting at an Antioch church will be back in court. Emmanuel Sampson is having a hearing now. He's charged in the attack that killed one woman and injured seven others. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for updates from the courtroom. Another high profile case is in court today. Katie Quackenbush's hearing is now. She's charged with attempted criminal homicide for shooting a homeless man. Gerald Melton was allegedly sleeping on 19th Avenue South in Music Row when Quackenbush drove up with loud music on. Investigators say the two got into an argument before Quackenbush shot him. Her father claims it was self-defense. A nurse at the Davidson County Jail is recovering after an inmate attacked her yesterday. Police say Dominique McBride walked into the jail clinic asking for pain medication, then left. Reports say he came right back and started punching and choking the nurse. Other jail staff said they saw the whole thing happen. Luckily, deputies were nearby and came to help. We're learning now that U.S. Representative Marsha Blackburn is interested in filling Bob Corker's soon-to-be-vacant U.S. Senate seat. Her announcement came after Governor Haslam announced yesterday he will not run for the spot. In the video announcement, Blackburn described herself as, quote, hardcore card-carrying Tennessee conservative and decried the GOP majority in the Senate for failing to repeal Obamacare. We're learning today that the man who opened fire on a country music festival in Las Vegas Sunday actually scoped out other possible venues for his crimes, among them Lollapalooza. Officials say in August, Stephen Paddock booked a room at a hotel overlooking Lollapalooza in Chicago, but never checked in. A law enforcement official tells CBS News Paddock's girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley, spoke to the FBI and said she was concerned about his mental stability. He doesn't fit any of the profiles until they, they, they can actually completely complete this investigation, we're not going to know what was on his mind. And we may never know, actually. Now, if you want to help victims of the attack, the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee has established the Music City Cares Fund. Grants are already being sent to Las Vegas area nonprofits. You can donate to the Music City Cares Fund right now through newschannel5.com.